Hi guys, it's Emily and I'm back with another collective K-pop haul uh, to share with you guys. So for the month of May, I actually didn't end up buying a whole lot of new releases. Um, a few pre-orders did happen to come though. So I'll be sharing those with you as well as some other uh, K-pop related uh, merchandise I ended up picking up. So to start off with albums, I've already shared this on my channel. So this is Chan Sung from 2PM's solo debut in Japan. And so this is his first mini album and all the songs are really great. Um, I did an unboxing on my channel of this where I kind of gave a detailed uh, response of how I felt about this album and all the songs. And um, it's a really, I think, great debut. So do check it out if you haven't already. And hopefully it'll be available on Spotify soon since now all of 2PM's Japanese discography um, for the most part is on there. And then for other albums, uh, this I guess isn't a new release but I finally got my other copy of Olivia's uh, single from Luna. So I did end up buying this when it came out um, in January but I sold those initial copies I got um, and then this is the copy that I'll be keeping because um, I do collect Luna photo cards. Um, unfortunately for those I've ended up pulling duplicates so I ended up getting this um, card for the version A solo covers and then this card for the unit um, cover for her release so if anyone's interested in trading for the respected other versions of these cards do let me know. And then another album I ended up buying was this CLC Freesome mini album. So I really love this mini album and I don't know why it took me so long to buy this. Um, I think this may even top their Cry Style mini album for me in terms of songs. Um, though honestly I think maybe those two mini albums are tied for me. But um, I ended up buying this through I believe the website's called oakdgg.com. So they're sort of like a Korean proxy site where they buy through a few different Korean stores um, and then package things up for you in a haul um, to ship directly to you. And the reason why I bought through them is because they sell some exclusive 2pm merchandise that was originally sold at their Korean concerts or fan meetings. So there are a few things I wanted to buy from that and to get free shipping um, I needed to spend $100 um, in order to do so. So I threw in the CLC album um, to qualify my order for free shipping. I actually have another order coming um, from that website because Woo Young has a new uh, making photo book that um, should be coming out very soon. So hopefully that experience goes as smoothly as um, my first order through them. Since everything was packaged up really nicely and nothing was damaged and it was really free shipping. Um, I guess if you have I think under four kilograms um, the package will qualify for free shipping if you live in the US. But anyway um, I got this album and the photo cards I ended up pulling um, were these two and unfortunately I already have the Elki smaller card so um, I'll probably be selling that. And I do collect Elkie's cards, so if someone does have Elkie's respected postcard, uh, do let me know. And we can maybe trade. And then I got another CLC album. Um, and this one was through M-Wave. And it's their black dress mini album. And the photo book for this is so pretty. And I do like how they signed everything on the inside cover, so all the signatures are well protected. But this is like magazine editorial and I just really like the page textures so you have some glossy and matte pages and I just think all the girls look really stunning in this photo book. So glad that I ended up picking this one up and my pulls were very lucky. So I ended up getting these two cards. So I believe there's another Elki um, Selk card or like smaller photo card size card. So I might try to find uh, her other version. But otherwise, I'm really happy with my pulls. And in that same M-Wave uh, package, I finally got my 
copy of the original version of Mamma Mia, um, all members signed. So this arrived a month after I received the special version, which was sold after this, but anyway. <laughs> I'm happy that that finally came. And for photo cards, I was pretty lucky once again. So I got Tang's um, larger card as well as his ticket. And then for the small local card, I ended up pulling uh, Jay Yoon's, which is up for trade for Taeyong, um, if someone's interested. And then the last album that was in that Emway package was one I sort of bought on impulse. So I'm considering selling this because I don't really need another boy group that I need to collect. Um, but that is VAV's Spotlight. And I really loved all the songs on this album. So all of the singles that they released um, last year are compiled on this, um, as well as a few new songs. And I just really like the direction that VAV's music's going. So that's sort of why I picked this up on Impulse. No, I honestly probably shouldn't be collecting them. Um, as for photo cards, I'm not sure who the members are, to be honest. So I ended up pulling um, this member's clear card, um, as well as this member's sulfur card. And then the last bit for albums, um, I ended up doing a large order of some very discounted 2PM singles and albums uh, from Amazon Japan. So everything was priced like under $3. Um, basically, and I either bought these because I didn't have them in my collection or I bought them for photo card purposes. So the one album I actually didn't own was the regular version of 2PM's Genesis of 2PM. So I want to say this is arguably my favorite full-length album from 2PM, mostly because I just really enjoy the songs. Um, it has merry-go-round and winter games, uh, step by step. Um, and stay here and I just I really like all the songs on here but uh, I'm still a little conflicted about what my favorite uh, Japanese full-length album from them um, is still and so in addition to that in this order I got extra copies of 2PM's Promise I'll Be Single so this is their last uh, single before they uh, went on group hiatus and collecting photo cards for this has been such a pain. I bought so many extra copies of this single and my luck for pulling a member card has been um, about one out of every six albums. And so that's about less than 17% uh, success poll. And I've already pulled a few duplicates of the member cards. So I have still a long way to go for that collection, but um, Amazon Japan has been discounting these singles really cheaply and um, so whenever I end up ordering something from Amazon I try to throw in some of these here just to <laughs> see if my pulls are lucky but the reason why I wanted to talk about these is that I have so many of these that I would really like to give them away to people who are interested in having either their bias or a few of these um, member covers for the single. So if you end up buying something from me or trading with me, um, let me know and I could throw in a free 2PM Japanese single um, with the number of your choice, um, most likely, because I have a lot of extra copies of this that really um, I need to get rid of. So do let me know if that's of interest. Um, I want to say that this is mostly for US only because shipping wise, it doesn't really make sense. Um, to send them out internationally, unfortunately. If you live outside the US, it's probably cheaper for you to order um, a new copy uh, on Amazon Japan, uh, to be honest. So, um, but if you do live in the US, or if you happen to trade or buy from me, um, do let me know so I could throw one of these guys um, in your package for you. So that was it for albums. Um, for merch, I ended up buying quite a bit last month, actually. Um, I won't share everything I bought. Um, there's some things that are in my photo card binders, which I'll share once I do an update on that. Um, so you could wait and see what all those are, but for larger things, I will share. Um, starting with that 2 p.m. fan meeting concert merch that I mentioned, um, I bought um, in my 
Oak DGG um, haul, along with that TLC Freesome CD. So I ended up buying the photo set for uh, Kuhn's fan meeting, and all these are so pretty. Um, I will try to share them with you uh, briefly. But basically, these are just 10 cards of Kuhn, um, and he just looks very lovely. And I would say these more than um, justified that very large haul I did. I ended up buying some other Zupium related merch, which I don't know if you guys are really interested in seeing that. I bought some pens and a water bottle and some other little things. But these, I thought, were the highlight of the Zupium related merch I ended up buying. And um, TVXQ also had a concert um, this past month. So I ended up buying some merchandise through an eBay seller um, for that. So I'll be showing you this uh, postcard book I ended up buying. I also bought um, their sticker set and photo set for um, their new album. But that's again in my photo card binder. So you'll see those when I do my photo card uh, collection update. And when I did receive this, unfortunately, the blue um, kind of undid for most of the postcards here, which isn't a big deal, but I was a little sad. So you just have these really thick um, cardboard kind of postcards um, of the two guys. So that's the last one. And I also placed another Japonica order this past month. I didn't do a haul video for it because there's only like three things in it and I didn't really want to make another video about it. Um, it was just another good experience, which I, I figured I could just reiterate um, in this video. And um, this is one of the larger things I got in addition to some photo cards I really wanted. Um, so what this is, is um, their Koei Water Day with 2 p.m. So this is when they did a CF with this water company and they came out with this photo book. I'll just flip through some of these pages. Um, so there's like a little story for each of the members in the beginning um, with them um, drinking water or something. Um, and then uh, when you get past these little member pages, they have some behind the scenes for all their CF um, commercials they had, including their Igloo one, the little girl. There's just a lot of nice little pictures in here, which is why I ended up buying that. And speaking of other proxy sites, I forgot to show this in my last monthly haul video, but the reason why I switched from White Rabbit Express to Japonica for ordering off of um, Japanese flea market sites was not only because they've been increasing their fees to just really high prices, but also because they uh, shipped one of my items out to another person. And I was just a little unhappy with how that kind of went down. Um, thankfully, my item arrived to me. So what, I, what that was, was this making photo book for Chan Sung's Japanese movie um, called Winter Snow. So this thing is pretty rare. And when you do find them, um, on Japanese shopping sites or auction sites, they go for a lot of money. So I ended up buying this for a good price, but it was something that I didn't want to get lost or sent to someone else. So um, that's kind of why I stopped using White Rabbit Express. And so because this is a special making book, I was really surprised that there's um, a major spoiler, I think, for the end of this movie. I actually haven't seen um, this Forgotten Snow movie because I haven't been able to find it anywhere with English subtitles. If someone's seen it with English subtitles, do let me know where I could find that. Um, but I was just, just beware. I'm going to show you a few pictures from this, but just beware when you reach the end, there's going to be, I think, a major movie spoiler. But yeah, this is, I think, Chan Sung plays a vet, I want to say, and I'm not really sure what the synopsis is, to be honest. 
but um, but when we reach towards the end here, so I think it's yeah this scene. Um, so warning, there's well I think a spoiler. Um, they show um, this chick just totally stab him <laughs> in the gut here, and then he just like lays peacefully on this lady's lap. So I want to say this is probably the end of the movie. <laughs> I don't know why they would put it here, but anyway, um, this also came with a DVD that I haven't watched yet. But yes, that is what that looks like. And then the last really exciting uh, merchandise that came in last month was something I have talked about on Twitter. Um, if you don't follow me on Twitter, uh, I do have my, I guess, a Twitter handle down in the description. I'm not that active on it, but I'm on it. But when I went to order my uh, Holman uh, Chance of Love album, um, I ended up ordering two copies. So one through, um, I, heard, I think it was Cape Town for You or someplace. And then my other copy I ended up ordering on Inner Park. Um, and that was because they had this special event where if you bought one of their albums or one of their Cashby cards, um, you had the chance of, of winning some sort of signed um, merchandise. Um, from Holman. So I ended up buying these three Cashby cards in the hopes that I would win some signed Cashby card um, was what they were advertising and I was really surprised when I got this package from Inner Park um, about a month later after I made this order and it was for Chongman's signed Cashby card. So. I was totally freaking out when this came um, because Chogman is also my bias in TVXQ. I would have been probably equally as freaked out <laughs> if I got Yunho's, but I was really happy to get Chogman's. So um, that was really cool to get something legit signed from one of these guys. And so for the last bit of this collective monthly haul, um, I'm going to be sharing some fan-made things that I ended up either buying or received from friends. So the first one is this slogan I ended up buying um, from someone on Twitter. I'll leave the group order manager's uh, information down in the description for what ordered it from. Um, she usually places a lot of group orders for GOT7 and occasionally 2pm, so that's why I follow her in hopes that there's something 2pm related. But I did want to get this JB slogan um, because I am going to GOT7's concert. Um, in July, and I don't have a GOT7 light stick, so I wanted to hold something. So I figured a slogan of my favorite member would be cool. So this is from Mirror Mirror, um, is the fan site, and I just thought this slogan looked really nice. And she, um, the group order manager, actually picked this up from Korea, so there wasn't any EMS shipping fees um, I had to pay. So this was actually a pretty good deal. And this is what the back looks like, rather like this, <laughs> it's the right side <laughs> up. So I'm really excited um, to have this and to use it um, during their concert. I don't really know how I'm going to be using it, to be honest. I never went to a concert um, with a slogan, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. <laughs> and the other goodies that came in this. Um, were some uh, fan design things. So uh, JB, I guess, is usually related to Snorlax um, as his Pokemon and Snorla the sleeping Snorlax um, electronic cleaner has these cats on it, which is appropriate. <laughs> um, and then it also had this uh, electromagnetic sticker of the same image. Um, some transparent cards here. This one too. <laughs> so, I had five transparent cards. Um, this fold out postcard. Thing. With uh, Mirror Mirror's fan site and then what the slogan was called um, You're Mine collection and then this passport um, sleeve which is cute 
And then also these larger stickers um, that came as bonus. The other thing I ended up getting was a gift um, from my friend Ashley, who's here on YouTube. Um, I don't want to butcher her YouTube name. I'm probably going to say it wrong, but I will link her down below. Um, but she made this shirt for me, which was super sweet of her. Um, so if you're not familiar with Zupium, um, which is 2PM's sort of character thing, um, Junho's character is a penguin, and she's really into um, these Zupium characters, which was one of the ways I got her um, to be interested in 2PM, uh, to be honest, and I'm really glad she's now taken to them. But um, they had this kind of pop-up shop during their Galaxy of 2PM promotions where um, they had a Zupium cafe. So, um, so all the members' characters had these um, kind of cooking outfits um, designs, which was really cute. And um, we've been watching uh, Walk of Love together, which is Junho's new drama where he plays a Chinese cook. So this is very appropriate. And she made this um, so, um, for me to wear at his concert that I'll be going to in Japan, hopefully. I still need to secure tickets for that, <laughs> but hopefully that works out. But yeah, this was really cute, and I can't wait to wear it at his concert. And then the last thing I have is a, a fan art commission I asked my friend Mason from MBK Pop 1997 um, to make for me. So he's a really talented artist and super sweet. Um, I'll link his uh, recent Twitter post actually that he made um, regarding um, his art commissions. Um, so that'll give you information about how to contact him um, as well as the price breakdown for the different sort of um, commissions he offers. But um, once I decided on a Junho picture that I of course wanted him to make a commission of, um, he was really great with um, giving me um, step-by-step -step updates of his process and um, being open to any suggestions I had regarding the finished product. So the image I selected, um, if you're familiar with uh, Junho's Insane Stage, um, which is a solo song he performed, there's a, a VCR of Junho uh, in the, uh, behind him that uh, is mirroring the movements he's making while he's performing, and it's really cool. I'll also link that um, video for you guys if you want to check that out. Because if you haven't been watching Junho's live stages um, on YouTube, which are pretty accessible, I don't know what you're doing with your life. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is how it turned out, which I'm really happy with. Um, and I wanted something really simple and clean. And so um, the image is a black and white uh, picture that I sent him. And because Junho's uh, color is yellow, um, I had Mason make this simple... Um, yellow gold um, outline to kind of frame um, this picture and also had him sign it which if you do end up doing a commission from him um, I suggest reminding him to sign things because he has a tendency to forget <laughs> so <laughs> do remind him um, especially whenever you have a commission made um, from an artist um, you should always insist that it's signed by the way but yes he's super talented and this turned out great um, he also sent me a digital copy which um, is my lock screen currently on my phone. Um, so that's what this one turned out like. I still need to flatten this and frame it, so that's why it's all curled up. Uh, but he also threw in some freebie prints that he made um, earlier uh, this year that are gorgeous, and I've been eyeing for so long, and I'm very thankful that he um, included these along too. So um, the first one was of Chu from Luna. Um, which happens to be one of my favorite Luna Girls, um, and this print's just really lovely, and I have him sign this one too. <laughs> um, and then the last one he also included was this one of Kim Lip, which is signed too. It's, it's hard to see because he um, signed it with a dark pen, but um, these are all just gorgeous. So this is of Kim Lip um, during her Eclipse music video. 
So I definitely highly suggest you guys check out uh, Mason's work. He has a lot of great paintings he's done of other K-pop idols that he posts on his Instagram as well as Twitter. And he recently did a speed paint on his uh, YouTube channel of Haze, which was really great. So you guys should definitely check that out. So I attempted to put most of the things in this frame as an overview of the things I received in May. But I wanted to close this video um, brief briefly touching on some new releases I plan on buying. Um, as well as um, some upcoming things I have planned. So I haven't been buying a lot of new releases lately because I've been saving up for my trip to Japan, which I'll be leaving towards the end of June. So it's coming up very soon. So because of that, um, I probably won't be doing another collective monthly haul um, for June. Um, I'll probably wait to do another one for July where I'll show uh, more of the things that I bought during my trip. So I might end up doing a separate Japan haul video in July um, in addition to a collective July haul video, but it all depends on what I end up buying. So I won't know until then. And so for releases I do plan on buying at some point, um, that includes Dreamcatcher's new mini album. I really love that title track. Um, the B-sides I thought were decent, but the title track I think is their best um, to date. And I also really want to get uh, Johnny Hung's new solo album. I thought that was really great. All the songs. Um, a great step up from his Flower um, mini album he released years ago. I also want to buy Shiny's new album, of course. Um, I have Luna's new um, YYXY uh, subunit albums coming in pre-ordered as well as AOA's albums pre-ordered um, but those are the only albums I have pre-ordered so far as well as Junho's new Japanese mini album but that's not coming out until July so that'll be a while from now um, I really want to get Lovely's new mini album too, Heal um, I thought that was a really great mini from them and I want to get more Lovely's albums I don't know when that'll happen but um, that is my plan. And then other than that, I'm not sure what other new releases will be coming out. I'm sure F2 Island will have a new album coming out, which I'll of course be buying. Um, I think Coleman might be doing a repackage sometime soon, which I'll be getting. But other than that, I think those are the releases I'll be focusing on, and probably B2Bs too, um, depending on how that goes. But um, that was it for this haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I have a Zen Market haul coming soon, so I'll probably have a video up next week for that. Um, other than that, um, there might be quite a dry spell when it comes to videos. I'll try to pre-record some things that I could post while I'm gone. But if there's a lot of radio silence going on, that just means I forgot to pre-record things or didn't have enough time. But I'll be back at the end of July with new videos, hopefully. Uh, but that was everything, so bye guys!